Eternal Evolution. Play now for free. What's going on guys? Kai Gear. Bit of a different video for you guys today. Uh, so I've been covering this other game, Eternal Evolution, on my secondary channel. That time has come to a close. Uh, I'm posting this on my main channel so more people can see it and let you all know not to check out this game. Uh, but that's actually not the game you're seeing in front of you right now. I'm going to be going over everything about this company, all the shady stuff, all the behind the scenes stuff, and things to watch out for with this company and others. So uh, you can look at this in a lot of ways like a disgruntled employee because uh, I was part of the uh, content creator program and I've officially told them I no longer want to be part of it. Uh, that has been accepted uh, by our contact and uh, disgruntled employee tells all. Let's get into it. So first is a no-no that we're not supposed to talk about. Uh, I don't know how well you can see this, but this is from English VIP. This is the first shady thing in the company and that is uh, spenders get more stuff. Um, so how the game works is you get a military rank, uh, by spending money in the game, or you get a very little amount over time, uh, just from doing your dailies. The amount you get is astronomically small from the AFK, so it will take you years to get anywhere close to this just from being free to play. And the game's been out a little over a year. Uh, what this is showing is it'll have a number, a space, and then rewards and as we see it starts at spending 200 a month this is a monthly program and it caps out at ten thousand dollars a month uh, which uh, I don't know names or numbers but I know not zero hit these uh, higher uh, marks of thirty one hundred six thousand and ten thousand dollars now uh, they're getting a bunch of stuff for free and this has been what, what's weird about it is once you hit the military rank 10 um, at a certain point you will get a pop-up in game telling you to message someone on discord this guy English VIP and well, I guess it'll be whatever language you are dash VIP. I only know the English. I apologize. Uh, but then uh, at the very bottom, it says, don't share this information. Myself and a couple other content creators have spoken about this guy several times. And uh, at least two content creators I know of have been asked to take videos down because they've mentioned uh, this person this system or even uh, on Mondays you can ask him uh, questions sometimes he'll respond on Sundays uh, and he'll tell you stuff about uh, things coming in the patch that week on Thursday uh, giving spenders an advantage now let me see uh, let's do this in the correct order here so when we when at the end of our uh, first collaboration I received this uh, I don't want any hate to come to the uh, person because he's just a representative uh, he's not making these decisions so I've uh, marked off his picture and his name their picture or their name I actually don't know if they're male or female whatever uh, I just use his as a cool uh, cool, cool. Uh, so hello Kiger as EE's in-game collab about to end our dev team is preparing our upcoming SP hero uh, and our content creators wonder if you are interested in doing some tests okay yeah I'll test it out I'll even if they uh, they'll mention a lot of times that we've signed an NDA I have not uh, none of the content creators have um, the only one I don't know for sure is veiled shot because I haven't spoken with them too much but Literally every other one I've asked um, that still covers the game and none of them have signed NDAs. And uh, I told them, yeah, I would love to do some testing. I'm a tester. that I like to do builds. I like to do things like this. I'll test it out for you. Um, awesome. If you plan on spending in-game on the Astral Mirror pack, so specifically that pack that goes 30 50 100 dollars, um, Whatever I spend during this one week p 
period from 1026 to 1101, please let me know. I will keep that in track. Uh, and please notice only be providing uh, SP pools for each dollar you spend during that week. Now, uh, what's happening here is if I spend $30 on that $30 pack, I think it gives 20 or 25 uh, summon tickets for Astrals. And then he's telling me if I spend that $30, I'll also get 30 tickets back uh, as part of this program. Now, this isn't testing the hero, is it? It has nothing to do with testing the hero. This is, hey, we'll give you an opportunity, uh, a discount, if you will, uh, to buy the hero from us. Uh, and this is the cutoff is before uh, the character is released or uh, any of the information on the hero was released. So they want me to, they give me a one week span to make the purchase. As you see, it's the 23rd when this happened. And they'll give me uh, till the 1st to make purchases ahead of time before knowing what the character does or anything about it. Uh, do And then I tried to push back a bit and say, hey, you know, I would like to know more about the character before I even think about doing something like this. And uh, the dev team suggests that our content creators should do the payment before the patch happening today. Think about that for a second. They want me to buy a hero before knowing what it does. Uh, and that just shows an issue with the company. Uh, so I made a, a video talking about this a little bit. I took it down and uh, I have two screenshots here about this. Uh, so they approached me saying, hey, you know, you talked about this. We really wish you didn't. Can you please take it down? Uh, I thought I may get uh, kicked out. I was like, yeah, maybe uh, a few of the things I said I should have, uh, you know, uh, skipped around the issue a little bit better. Oh, well, on me. Um, they sent me two screenshots. Uh, I don't want to add those here because that would give uh, information. Uh, but saying that I've said certain things in that video, which were never said, I have privated the video. I have not uh, gotten rid of it. Um, I'm going to release the hold on it on my Eternal Evolution page. If you want to check it out, check it out there. Uh, why I'm not spending for Artemis. Uh, both of the screenshots are saying things that I never said uh, in or outside the video. First one says huge bonuses, talking about what the content creators get, uh, which in the video never said nor said what we got. Uh, I never talked about what we got. I never said how much we got. I never said anything like that. But it mentioned big bonuses several times. Second one says... What I care is that they know all details in advance, which I never said and was actually my criticism that we do not know the details. This is going to be something we'll get into a little bit later, but uh, Discord moderators for the official Discord do know things in advance. Content creators do not. Make that make sense. Um, you discussed the Caraxia event for content creators in the video. Our team is aware that... Uh, uh, a previous um, representative uh, has stressed the importance of not disclosing details of the name of the CCSP events to anyone. This uh, is necessary to avoid creating a perception within the community that CCs relieve lots of bonuses, which we do. Um, I'll go over this last one right here and then we'll go over said bonuses. Uh, this, I apologize for the negative experience. Uh, that's not our intention. Going forward, I commit blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'd like to discuss another matter with you. The SP Hero event is not meant for every content creator. That means only the bigger content creators got the chance to pay them early for a character they know nothing about. Yes. Um, our team specifically selects outstanding creators from the program for this event to experience the SP hero in advance. 
You're not letting us experience it. You're letting us pay you for it in advance. Now, I'm going to show you a few things. This is an example of a weekly reward uh, before uh, said changes. This is not mine. Uh, this is a bigger content creator, shall not be named. 142 tickets, 50 astrals. That is huge. You got some dates right here November 17th, 132 tickets, uh, but no astrals, and then randomly started giving astrals. Uh, here's two examples right here. Uh, that the one that we just looked at a second ago, 142 50 astrals, and then right here, 98 tickets with our change to the reward structure and 50 astrals. Now, uh, as far as uh, them getting information before we do, let me show you something. So I'm going to play the first 12 seconds of this video. And this is a content creator, but also a moderator on the official Discord, who gets information about updates before anyone else. Um, I don't know why the Discord moderators need information before anyone else, but you will hear him say... Uh, you're not going to get this information anywhere else. And that's true because no one that makes videos has this information but him. Right here, and I have all the juicy info for you for the collab tomorrow. You won't find this anywhere else. And for First six seconds. You won't find this anywhere else because only he has that information that makes videos. Now, back to where I was. Uh, let's check out what the content creators get and how they get it, right? All the juicy stuff. So this is for any of our events. This is a rules for all of our videos that we do anywhere. Uh, videos on the spreadsheet for the uh, for a mission. I'll go over that in a moment. Uh, your videos need to be at least four minutes. This is a recent change because some people were doing uh, two to three minute videos. Uh, just say, just uh, putting gameplay on, not saying a word. Um, more than 120 views. Uh, used to say 200. This is a very recent change. Um, when you look at all of our content creators, only three of them get more than 200 views per video, which tells you it's a very, very small game. Uh, Event-related tile, thumbnail, and tracking link, so they can easily find it. Uh, avoid submitting simple gameplay footage recordings or content that violates public order and good customs. This is uh, regular stuff. The simple gameplay had to be put in there because some people were violating this. Uh, do, do, do. Let's talk about what they're getting, right? So these are ones that are active right now. So if you see these in uh, any of the time coming up uh, in, in the next... Uh, two-ish weeks then you know it's uh they're getting these rewards uh, mission one collab heroes tips and test maximum of four which is weird because there's five heroes right so uh if a content creator makes a video about how to build each of the five heroes they they will get uh, a kickback on four of them uh, assuming they get the 120 views and their video is more than four minutes long Share your thoughts on the collab heroes, tips and tests, damage, skills, build, uh, set test, PvP, PvE. Uh, collab time, limited game mode guide, uh, maximum of four. I don't know how you do four videos on the collaboration game mode, uh, but it, they include story here. So maybe you do one on the story and there's three world bosses technically, so that's your four videos. So they're kind of telling us wh how to schedule our videos in the future, um, which is very interesting. Rewards guides, max of two. Share your tips on the collab pass and collab store or anything related to the collab rewards. Maximum of two, they tell you two things. They're literally telling you not what you have to make videos on, but what you will get rewarded for making videos on. 
So if you see con all the content creators doing very specific things, here's why. Patch notes. Talk about the patch that happened already. We got this uh, quest the day after the patch went live. Generally, we do patch notes before the patch comes out. And it would also really help if we got that information ahead of time so we could make that video in advance. Uh, but they want, they want us to do patch notes after the patch is out. Okay. Uh, they want us to do a tier list, updated tier list, uh, to do, make sure to encourage your community to comment in the tier list video, putting their server and UID. Our team will pick 10 to send limited card recruit, uh, rewards. They're just going to pick 10 people randomly. Uh, and an awakening system guide. Okay. Now, what do people get from these things, right? So I have two sh two sheets right here. Uh, weekly average view rewards. This is whatever your highest viewed. Uh, well, this one's average. Sorry. Um, so whatever you average across your uh, views, right? So if you, which is going to be most of the people, one to two fifty, you're going to get base rewards times two, which we'll uh, talk about what that is in a moment. Monthly peak rewards. Now, this is your biggest video for the month, and um, we only have two content creators at all that will ever hit the 2,000, and neither of them currently ever hit the 5,000. Uh, I don't know who these benchmarks were for, or who they think are able to hit these numbers, but look at what the rewards are. All SSS hero selection cards. So this isn't all, it is not the, the time travelers are not included and the last two newest heroes are not included, but everyone else is in there. Uh, so they, they were able to get Nord the entire time. Uh, well, we were, I was part of this. Um, they just changed this. Monthly peak engagement rewards. So this is a weird metric. So the max likes and comments, one video with the max likes and comments, they aggregate those with a times 0 0.06, sorry, uh, times 0.6 plus max comments times 0.4 to be the highest number possible. And uh, Dialer has been doing the uh, word of the day before this was ever announced. But his word of the day thing and people responding to it uh, really plays into this. And even then, I think he is in the 40 to 80 range, uh, which is middle, middle of the pack. And he's the biggest or second biggest content creator for this game. Monthly outstanding. Uh, <laughs> so look at these requirements, right? Uh, do, do, do. All right, down here. Meet any of the following. A monthly increase of 30 new subscribers. So maybe you'll get this once. Maybe if you're growing very quickly, you'll get this twice ever. Uh, and the extent the uh, view significantly exceeds three times your average view count of your daily videos. So this is a monthly reward and you're only ever going to hit it maybe once, maybe twice in your life. Now, here's the basic rewards. What everything is based on is these basic rewards. 10 limited tickets, uh, two 24 hour packs, 300 talent, uh, the talent potions, uh, 20 epic runes, five mythic runes. So that's, that's what everything is based on. Weekly output amount rewards. Uh, this is this is per video, and uh, all the uh, videos meeting the criteria qualify for output rewards. Uh, four minutes, more than 120 views. Two limiteds, uh, a two large recruit and 60 talents. And this is only if you hit these numbers. New Newer content creators, even if their content is very good, even if they've been doing it for a very long time, if they're not hitting the, if they're hitting these, 
They're getting 10 tickets a week versus those big content creators who are getting 140 tickets a week. Uh, that That's the disparity here. Uh, and we've actually been told not to talk about this information. Uh, and this is your incentive rewards. This is your biggest uh, uh, view video of the month. Uh, 300, 500, 1,000, 1,500. The top two creators get all of these, whereas everyone else gets maybe, maybe the first one, which is 10 recruitment. So the bigger guys are getting 30 recruitment, uh, 30 chaos shards, and a chaos crystal, which is used for that awakening system. So every two months, the big guys are getting three uh, chaos crystals that can be used on anyone. Now, where are they going? Uh, they're pushing this other game right here. Now, right here is HK Hero Entertainment Company Limited. Eternal Evolution right here, uh, but look at their tagline, Global Quality Make Difference, HK Entertainment Limited. Now look at this one, HK Limited, make qual Global Quality Make Difference. Yeah, it's a different holding company, but it's the same parent company. And they're making this new game, Summon Dragons 2, which I have actually seen a bunch of uh, um, things on Facebook and YouTube about. And tell me what game this looks like. You have your hero down here. You click them to do their skill. You uh, put it around. You have auto times two. Pause. The same pause menu, by the way. Same system right here. Uh, calling out Ravenna, which is one of the earlier ones. Ravenna is not mentioned. Uh, Ravenna right there and Ravenna right there. Everyone else, Ymir, is mentioned. Uh, right here, we have Daniel, which is one of the main main uh, early guys for our game. Uh, you also see the rank up system is exactly the same. The skill system is exactly the same. Even down to the brand new in Eternal Evolution is the Double Weekend Pack. Yeah, they got it from over here because it was doing well over here, so they put in Internal Evolution. Uh, this is how they're doing things right now, and uh, I believe the reason why they're doing this new holding company is so when I look them up like I did for this, uh, they're not showing up on the same uh, thing over there. Uh, so yeah, uh, the big content creators are getting stuff, uh, the little guys are not. Uh, they also changed things on us last second, uh, right before the end of the month. They told us about these changes, and they retroactively uh, put it in place for the previous month. Uh, so we got shafted what we knew was coming. Um, the As you all know, the, uh, what you call it, uh, the only way to get uh, Asuka, which is the uh, big character right now the only way to get her right now is to pay a hundred dollars in game and they even made it a pop-up like it's on the main screen says asuka pack uh you literally can't not see it even if you don't go in the shop they put it in your face uh so the game is definitely going in a weird direction uh, I just wanted to get that all off my chest myself and several other content creators have left this game uh, only very, very few are sticking around. Um, I am still, I'm currently covering, as you see on this channel, uh, Legends of Neverland, as well as Cyber Rebellion. Uh, I kind of skipped over, uh, Black Clover Mobile, but I am looking for other games to check out in the future as they get released. If you know any others, let me know down below, as well as how you feel about the situation. Till next time, guys.